What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? Um, so we're back again for another episode review of Married to Madison. This is season 10, episode 12. Baby Hilton here, here we come. Baby, they could have stayed at home. <laughs> Girl, for this to be like <sighs> this season has been disappointing. Let's just be just just be real and face the fact. I <sighs> maybe because they act like Married to Medicine is the stepchild of uh Bravo or whatever, even though it do get fairly good ratings for the most part for its show for not being like a housewife show or below deck or whatever, right? It's a black cast. So, you know, I'm not surprised that it doesn't get like the hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of thousands of views. But hey, it's still good enough for y'all to get them a trip to go out of the country. Now, granted, I get it. They went out the country a couple of times, a few times, actually, you know, but for this to be the 10th season and for you guys to have been y'all having them celebrate 10 years of being together as friends as couples you know doing a couple things and all of that and being on this show you mean to tell me the best thing that y'all can come up with is to go down the blocks of Hilton Head in South Carolina okay from Georgia you mean to tell me that I said, wow, baby, y'all couldn't go out the country. Y'all, if you ain't really want to give no expense and put them all the way overseas, overseas, and still be in the U.S. of A. territories, you could have you could have flew them out to Puerto Rico, okay? You could have flew them to Puerto Rico. I would say Hawaii, but no. Um, the people of Hawaii do not want y'all going over there. I just want y'all to know that because um, they is tagged. Y'all coming over there and just... You know, hiking up the prices and everything, and they ain't seeing no benefits of it. But hey, I you could have went to Puerto Rico, you could have went to Jamaica, you could have went somewhere, you know, outside the country for a tenth season trip. Like ten years is a milestone, and y'all going to Hilton Head, and I only Hilton Head. This is a place that has a negative connotation for at least a couple of other cast members, you know? And I'm like, ugh, oh my goodness, okay? I'm not about to be on here long. And I know I said that in the last uh, episode uh, or the last review I just posted. I'm, I'm guaranteed you this because I don't even want to talk about everything. It really wasn't much to talk about. First of all, I don't understand. How do y'all get to a crab boil and um, y'all having scripts, crabs? Uh, um, um, corn, sausage, probably a little egg. I ain't really see the egg. It may or may not be there, but where was the sauce? Okay. Where was the dripping? You know what I'm saying? Um, it looked a little naked. It looked a little naked, but I just jumped ahead. So they was getting ready for the whole trip or whatever. Everybody coming over there to Simone and Cecil house and all of that. We trying to make sure everybody's here. Everybody shows up except for Phaedra, Heavenly, um and dr jackie and their partners right phaedra winds up being late as hell she was like an hour late or whatever uh dr heavenly they had called her and she's basically said that since dr jackie is not coming she's not going to come but before she said that she said she did not feel comfortable about the situation she did not like the situation and the fact that they were going down there to this place and you know it didn't make her feel comfortable because of the fact that, you know, the whole situation with Dr. Jackie. Toya gets in her feelings. And I just didn't understand how come Toya got so deep in her feelings that made everybody else had this chain reaction to get in their feelings, okay? I understand that you want to do a couples trip. I understand that you're trying to commis commis commiserate or commemorate the whole situation with y'all doing this for the 10th year anniversary of y'all doing something together. I understand that. But if you want to be mad at somebody, be mad at Simone because Simone wouldn't change the trip. That's just all you need to do. Okay. Honestly, I feel like they put too much effort. They put too much on this whole issue and made it bigger than what it was. And I'm talking about Toya. When you get on the phone and Dr. Jackie is basically on there saying, Curtis don't want to come. She trying to respect that. Truth be told, well, I stay with a nigga that did. No, but hey, that's what she want to do. She want to respect her relationship. She respecting her husband. And again, like they said earlier, later on, you don't actually know exactly what was going on in that household to get them to that point, you know. Um, but at the same time, here's the thing. It did break my heart. Well, it made me, it ain't break my heart. It made me feel a little, 
a little, little kind of sad a little bit just slightly to hear dr jackie you know kind of cry or whatever because obviously you could tell she wanted to go but obviously it's a sore spot more so for Curtis because in a sense, I feel like if it's a sore spot for Curtis mostly because you could tell like Dr. Jackie really wanted to go. She wanted to be with her friends, right? But she know what that means and it's mostly that's Curtis. You know, you cheated on me, but yet I'm being more so concerned about your feelings and I want to follow your lead because we're in this relationship and that's what it was given. That's what it was given. We're in this marriage. So, you know, yeah, you hurt me by cheating on me with this woman. You took her down to this place. We're about to go to this place and you don't want to go because you think people going to bring up something. I do feel like somebody going to bring up something because J Jackie said, I'm pretty sure Toya might bring it up. But um, at the same time, it's like she following his lead because I guaranteed you had he said it don't matter. She would have came. Child, had he not been in the picture, she would have came regardless. You know what I'm saying? She wanted to come, but she's trying to respect her husband. Right. Bump that. I mean, I mean, you, you whatever. OK, you know, I'm not in a relationship. So there's that. Uh, So you got that going on. And, you know, she's crying about it a little bit, but you, it, it, it wasn't a feel sorry for me type of thing. That's why she just didn't want to talk about it. And it felt a little pressury, like, okay, so come on, come on, come on. And the fact that Toya, you know, up there talking about something, oh, this feel like high school, you know, if you don't come, I don't come. No, baby, it's not necessarily high school. It's being a friend. It's being concerned because at the end of the day, Yes, Simone, you know Jackie for 20 plus years. Understandable. Okay. But at the end of the day, do I feel like she maliciously thought of to go to Hilton Head? No. Do I feel like she probably nine out of 10 forgot? Yes. But do I feel as though she could have changed the location? She could have changed everything or she could have pushed it back probably a week or whatever. Yes. That is what I have an issue with. If my friend is telling me she's uncomfortable because of something that could trigger her, I'm not going to put her in that situation. And if I and if they tell me, no, y'all can continue to go, but I'm not going to show up. I am not going to get in my feelings because she or they don't want to show up because this has a negative connotation or a negative triggering point for them. And that's why I just found it so irritated that it was so hard for them to understand that, especially Toya, for her to get upset at Dr. Heavenly for having her friend back. Y'all, first of all, yes, Dr. Heavenly is joined at Dr. Jackie's ass. All right. We get that. And sometimes it's annoying as hell. But in this moment, at least somebody was standing up and being there for her because Simone damn sure wasn't. Simone damn sure wasn't, you know, and I didn't feel like Dr. Heavenly was doing anything wrong. She was just being a friend to her friend. That's just what it was. And to call it and say that, oh, we was all getting along. Okay, so you can't get along without them. This is going to change the dynamic of the group just because they didn't want to come on a trip that triggered them because it has bad connotation. It has bad memories. Like, really, why, why, why can't you understand? It, it, it gave a little bit of selfishness because if that was my friend and they was going through some stuff and let's just say they couldn't get the deposit back from the trip or whatever. And so, therefore, that's why they still had to go. And if that's the case and they still decided not to go, I would be 100 percent understanding because I'd be feeling bad, too, that I may uh, slip up and be like, damn, I, I'm mad that I did not remember this. But at the same time, I don't want my friend to feel hurt. So if she don't want to come, I will totally understand and don't think anything negative about it. You know, and then just because the other friend don't want to come, so the fuck what? You don't really like the girl anyway, so why do you care like that? Why are y'all making it such a big damn issue that Heavenly is being an actual friend to Dr. Jackie? Now, bitch, when that whole shit happened, Dr. Jackie, I'm going to tell y'all this. Neither one of y'all asses should have showed the fuck up. Okay, because I would have felt so, I, girl, I would have felt some type of way when I seen them roll through. When I seen them roll through, hey, how y'all doing? That's how y'all roll through. I'm sitting here like, I'm supposed to be happy and who, girl, I had all these feelings or whatever, and did you pop up? Girl, I feel some type of way. Take y'all asses back home. I would have said, turn right back around. Turn right back around, okay? Because you had me out here feeling bad as hell or whatever. Because we had booked this and we had forgot about the shit that was going on. We wanted y'all to be comfortable. And then you pop up. And you pop up. 
pop the fuck back. <laughs> okay? That's what I would have said. But, you know, prior to that, when I'm getting on the bus and everything and the whole chemo, I just... <laughs> Let me just say this. Kima and Alicia irks me so much. And you could say it's because it's cultural differences. I I, I don't... I, I can never be with somebody who was brought up that way. You would have to... And I feel like if you were brought up in a way where you expect 100% submission, you expect your wife to be what you say in a woman's place and you want her to be in the house all the time and you know barefoot uh uh cooking doing the kids uh uh clothing and you know uh taking care of the kids and everything uh doing their hair who is that up doing their hair whatever and you know just strictly doing household duties and not doing anything or what uh, 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 staying in a woman's place all that old old sexist misogynistic ass thinking and rhetoric and ideal baby get you somebody that do that and get you a group of friends that's gonna understand that okay because baby don't bring that around me don't bring that around me because i cannot be friends or cool with somebody who thinks that way you know i'm about 100 percent partnership like this is a 50 50 thing you respect me i respect you you, I can clean up this part. You can clean up this part. We can share days that we cook. We can do laundry together. Um, um, um. We both work and all that stuff, baby. We all contributing. Ain't nobody finna do all these different type of roles and have this specific role here and there, baby. This is 2023. At the time that this was recorded, this 2024. Okay, I know with some of y'all that still do that stuff, but Ashley just would never. Okay, baby, and it ain't got nothing to do with me because I know somebody gonna be like, but Ashley, you a lesbian. And that's that. It don't got nothing to do with that. Even if I was in a relationship with a man, I would never be that type of person. Baby, I don't want you to break your back and thinking that you have to bring home the bacon and 100% and I ain't got to do nothing. And then I don't want you thinking that I'm going to just be sitting up in the house cooking and cleaning for your ass and sucking your off. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We all going out the house in the morning at the same time to go freaking work. We're going to come home. We're going to rub each other's feet. We're going to fix each other something to eat. And we're going to both clean up the house. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Okay? Like, come on. I, I just, his thinking, and I get it, the cultural differences or whatever. And it's just like, when he said that shit about how he got Alicia trained, I was like, ew. Like, you can't already get it that... You know, the men are not on your side with these things or whatever. At least most of the men. Because Gregory kind of tittering, tottering. You know, he ain't as severe as Kima. But I was just like, that is just, ugh. And, and the women is just like, so you really going to say that you trained your wife as if she's a damn dog? I'm so glad that Dr. Jackie going to call that out next week. Or whenever. No, it's not It's not coming back next week because next week is the Super Bowl. Or this, well, this coming Sunday is the Super Bowl. So, it's going to be back on the 18th, I believe. Damn, February almost over with and it just got here. Anyway, um, so you got that right. And I cannot wait till that episode comes. I really can't. This is the first time in a minute that I have actually been looking really, really forward to looking to an episode of, of Married to Medicine this season. Because when Alicia in that preview told Toya, Eugene needs to train your ass. I said, oh my God. Now, Toya, I know you ain't finna just sit there and let that lady say that to you. I know, like, girl, if you was to even at her like that, I would be fine with it. Don't hit her, okay? But buck at her something, I'd be like, that's deserved. Okay, because she had a goddamn line. She had a line. Baby, we ain't we, we, we training? Like, we some goddamn animals? Like, what? Are you serious? Uh-uh. No, we're not going to do that. Um, meanwhile, they finally get to Hilton Head. Uh, uh, like I said, Dr. Jackie and them get there and, and have me and all that stuff. They getting ready to eat or whatever. That, that. And then, like, it probably had a little bit of Obey seasoning or something on there that we couldn't just see. I just wanted some sauce. You know, I wanted to see some, where the butter at? <laughs> where the high blood pressure at? Like, girl, what? Baby, I do not understand how people be sitting there eating these crab boils, these seafood boils, 
all the daggone time. Do y'all know how much sodium and shit is in it? Like, girl, I know y'all got high blood pressure. And baby, I, I retain water. Okay, so, you know, sometimes, a, uh, uh, and it's only one specific leg, it'll swell up. And it's genetic because my mama do it, my sister do it and everything. No matter what we do, it just happens. And I just be like, girl, you got to watch your salt intake. And thank the Lord, I don't have issues with my blood pressure like that. So, whew, or diabetes. So, Girl, you got to be careful. I be wondering that every time I see somebody eating seafood all the freaking time. Can you take a break? Especially these seafood boys. I'm sorry. I got off. I got off. But anyway, so they get into this whole situation uh, about Curtis and all of them or whatever. Toya, let me, for them to say it's not going to be brought up about the whole situation with Curtis or, you know, to think that maybe they just don't want to be around somebody in the group or it's us or whatever for y'all to think that somebody is going to bring it up. Baby, they were not wrong for thinking that somebody was going to bring it up. Regardless of how close of friends y'all are, it's always somebody in that group that's going to bring up the mess because you need mess. That's just what happens, right? Um, And who was the main one talking about it? Them and Toya. Okay, like y'all did want to talk about that. It's not like they bringing it up like to say, why did you do this? And why did you do that or whatever? But y'all steadily talking about the subject. And I'm like, if you don't want anything to happen, can y'all just dead the subject? Why are we just still talking about it? Can we just move on? All right. And I was like, you know, let it go. And then here comes sweet tea. No, no, no. We're going to talk about it because I feel like you need to be up in the uh, hot seat, Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie said, hold on, girlfriend. All right, uh, little girl, I, I, I'm in a hot seat every day at work. I'm in a hot seat when I got to tell somebody that they got breast cancer. I'm in a hot seat when I'm in the OR. I'm in a hot seat for this and I'm in a hot seat for that. So what you got? What you want me to be in a hot seat for? And she was like, okay, you got it. You got it. I said, girl, what's going on? What is all this picked up shit for Dr. Jackie? I was so confused, right? And next thing you know, you get Dr. Simone. She apologizes to Dr. Jackie. She apologizes to Curtis and say, you know, and it was a tearful apology. I do believe and I do 100% believe uh, and, and felt that Simone was being truthful. She was being honest. She was being sincere. I don't believe she did it on purpose. It just happened. But again, like I said, you still could have moved it. Unless it was set in stone and production said no. Or you couldn't get that refund back or whatever. Like, you could have moved it. Okay? That's how I feel. Will continue to feel. But I do think that her apology and what she was saying to Dr. Jackie was sincere. And for Dr. Heavenly to come through and to basically say... You know, I mean, that's cool or whatever. I just had a problem with the fact that you would do something like that. You know, and I was just trying to be a friend to my friend because I seen that it hurt her. So, therefore, you know, I think it's fucked up that you couldn't move the trip. You could do this. Girl, next thing you know, Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Simone get into it. The two loudest people in the group. The two loudest people in the group. And I said, bitch, how long y'all been there? Y'all ain't been there a fortnight. Y'all could barely digest the scrimps in your goddamn... You can't even... Listen, they was there long enough for the corn to go in and to come out still whole. I said, like, excuse me, why are we hollering so much? And then for the neighbors to come out, they was like, you're going to get these white folks to uh, kick us out or whatever they call it, and they already complaining. I said, what? Truth be told, when that man and that other person walked past and they was out there with no shoes on and everything, and he holding his camera and his phone like this, girl, I don't feel like it was nothing. I do not feel like it was a noise complaint. I really feel like they saw the cameras outside and they wanted to come and be nosy because, look, I would have did the same thing, okay? I would have been like, damn, bitch, they out here feel any argument, you know, because white people love mess too. Let's not get it twisted. All right, that's probably as much excitement that they had the whole time. Girl, if there was really some issues, they would have came and knocked on the door. They would have said, Excuse me, can y'all shut the hell up? You know, they probably wouldn't have said it like that, but they damn sure would have knocked on the door. Girl, they wanted to hear the mess and see the mess and probably be on TV, but see, they blurred their face out, so it was a no and void, all right? But then they was like, Okay, let's go upstairs, let's go in the house, or whatever, because we being a little bit too loud or whatever. You know, so at this point, Dr. Jackie and they sitting down there and, you know, Sweet Tea is in her feelings, okay? 
she just feel like it's kind of hypocritical that we got to tiptoe around Jackie and her feelings, but yeah, y'all don't do that for me and all that stuff. And I said, girl, you ain't even all the way in the group yet. Okay. And I be trying to give uh, Sweet Tea a chance because I do feel as though, especially in the beginning, people was probably a little harsh on her, okay, because she was new, because, you know, she's coming in and is looking as if, you know, she's replacing quad and, you know, taking over the house and all of that stuff, okay, right, but then when I get to see her personality and all this stuff, like, girl, you are just annoying as hell, and I don't know, you a little bit just doing the absolute most. I feel as though if you had an issue with Dr. Jackie or anybody else, you need to learn how to come to them like an adult. She acted like a goddamn child. Now, I understand that there's people out there that don't give a damn about Dr. Jackie and they was 100% okay with the fact that that lady came out of her mouth and said, fuck you, bitch. I said, oh, wow. No lead up, huh? <laughs> Girl. Now, when I see the commercial and the preview or whatever for this part, you couldn't really get context. You just saw that she said, fuck you, to Dr. Jackie, right? And I was like, oh, shit, what's happening? I really think they finna go at it. I'm really thinking that Dr. Jackie had said something that set her off for real, for real. And when I finally watch it, I see it, girl, what? If you don't calm your little childish ass down, girl, here's the thing. You know, she wanted to get her say out. She felt as though, you know, again, that Dr. Jackie should be in the high seat a little bit longer. And I feel as though I shouldn't have to, like, we got to tiptoe around you and we got to have empathy for you because of your simp. And like Dr. Jackie said, nobody told you that you had to. And if you want to get something off your chest and you want to tell me how you feel, go ahead and do so. And see, here's the thing. Dr. Jackie, this is probably why people feel like, <laughs> Cause this was giving Buffy tees. I am so sorry. It was giving Buffy tees, but in reverse. In reverse, in the sense that Dr. Jackie didn't get up there on this goddamn public ass platform and say, "You understand, Buffy." <laughs> Mind you, I heard that it was Simone that had told Dr. Jackie about Buffy and her infertilization and stuff like that. I don't give a damn. Dr. Jackie, she was 100% wrong up in that shit. I do not care. But I still like Dr. Jackie. So, um, at the end of the day, in this situation, it ain't no bias or whatever. Here's how I feel about it. When she said, girl, you could go ahead and say it. Uh, whatever you have to do. Dr. Jackie spoke to that lady as if she was a child in a calm ass voice, but it was very, very kind of like condescending a little bit. It was passive aggressive a little bit. You can pick and choose which one of those, okay? It was real kind. And I ain't even gonna lie. I'm telling you, it probably would have pissed me off too. Because once you, one, what, what you're not gonna do is gonna talk to me like I'm your child. And. Even if you would have just walked in on the conversation, you probably would have like, I mean, she just said something. But if you know the history of these ladies and you know how they work, you would have understood the tone and the text and all of that. You know what I'm saying? You would have understood. Okay. Uh, she was basically up gearing up to get up in that girl ass. All right. But she didn't give her that much. Okay. But she did allow her to talk. And that girl said, fuck you. Bitch, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, sweet tea. Lead up to it and let us know what happened. Because she was like, because you ain't had no uh, sympathy or whatever, because you was all uh, the stuff that you did uh, about Greg and talk about some of the lady at the hotel was coming up there to the bachelorette party and all this stuff. I said, what? So you will be your feelings because I guess they were joking about Greg and the bachelorette party and some girl coming up there. I was confused. Meanwhile, I hope when you watch this, I mean, how you going to feel when Greg went to the goddamn strip club and he invited the stripper to come to his bachelor? What? Or was it? No, no. You, Greg was going to invite the girl to come up to the bachelorette party. Did she say bachelorette? I, I'm confused. I'm confused. Somebody cleared up. Either way, I guess Dr. Jackie made a joke. She was joking on Greg. All right. I don't know if it was really at her expense, but if it was, everybody there has joked about Dr. Greg and Sweet T's relationship. 
they have said some shady stuff, but yet you call out Dr. Jackie and you don't call out everybody else. I was confused about that because I'm really thinking that Dr. Jackie literally did something outside of what everybody else did that was so offensive to her. You know what I'm saying? But if it's something about, like she said, Jones and stuff, everybody was doing that to your ass. Everybody been doing that and you ain't call them out. And you ain't safe. Well, I mean, you got up in Heavenly ass. But see, Heavenly was doing that to her face. So, you know, that's a different story. And I was just like, um, I was really confused by it. It was, it was like, I don't know. And then when she got up there, because Greg told her, you don't, talk to her, you don't talk to her like that. Okay, you don't say that. You don't, Not just you don't talk to her like that, but you don't curse at nobody like that especially somebody listen we gonna have to put the age stuff to the side because if i got a problem with you i got a problem with you i don't care how old you are so just because dr jackie is a little bit older than everybody there like if i got an issue i'm gonna address it and if it get heated it get heated but i really do feel like the shit with sweet tea is freaking misplaced but see sweet tea you also bring that age shit up in there too because you up there talking about her I just don't know how to fit in with these girls because they like older or whatever. Baby, what the hell did you expect when you marry an old man? If you want to go that far, you marry somebody's old that's older. So therefore, of course, their friend's going to be older and that hopefully in their his same age range, right? So that's what you got to deal with. So now you confused as to how to navigate. It's okay to with one but it ain't okay to be friends with him like that I, i'm so confused by sweet tea she was like and i was just doing this because i was trying to protect you protect greg for what <laughs> ain't nobody pissed off at greg in this group okay probably had me but other than that protect greg from what i'm so confused by this somebody break it down like i'm slow <laughs> okay like i'm a little delayed okay put it in the comments baby because i was just like girl like i don't, I don't get it because i want to understand and i want to be like yeah bitch i, I would have told the bitch fuck you too but i just can't because i don't understand it you know and so after that they go the next day um the girls get ready to go to golfing and stuff or whatever basically they they reverse in the roles and it's all because of the whole situation with Kima, you know basically with this control of how women should be this and men should be that and so basically they going golfing the men are going cooking they're kicking about that or whatever okay um and when them ladies was up in their car <laughs> prior to that Dr. Heavenly did apologize to Simone. And at this point, I would feel like Simone a little bit too. It was like, you do this like every other year. Every year, you, you always get into it, then you always apologize. And so it's like, girl, it's a fucking broken record at this point. But at the same time, just to keep the peace, they was cool. And then they get up in their car. And when Sweet Tea was like, girl, uh, let me tell you something, Dr. Jackie. I just want to apologize to you because that was not me. I shouldn't have came at you like that or whatever. And Dr. Jackie said, apologies. <laughs> apologies are for yourself. <laughs> I said, God damn it, Dr. Jackie. This is why the people be like, that bitch is mean. <laughs> I was like, what? She said, girl, apologies are for yourself. Like if you have any, you don't make, um, you don't mess with me or you don't, uh, hurt me. I won't hurt you and vice versa. I said, God damn. Okay. Like that was a lie for some people. Y'all probably like, I mean, that was whatever, but given how Dr. Jackie, Jackie is and you know how she's that older person that ain't got to get all bucking her talk or whatever. She ain't got to raise her voice or whatever to read you a little bit or to make you think and be like, damn, did this bitch just read me? Did she just come for me? That's exactly what she did, right? And so, Dr. Simone in that uh, confession was like, basically what she's saying is, it's over and done with with you, Sweetie. She don't fuck with you no more, okay? Y'all, y'all, whatever it is, she don't see it for you no more. When Sweetie asked and then even Dr. Heavily said, oh, yeah, she ain't never forgiven that lady, okay? She ain't never going to forget that lady at all for this, okay? 
Um, because after Danky said, listen, you can say what you want to say, but for you to come out your mouth and say F you to me, it did to call me a bitch. It's like, girl, what? <laughs> First of all, I don't even dunk it like that. And then Sweet T asked Heavenly, You think she gonna uh, you think she received that apology? Heavenly said with no seconds in between, no. <laughs> I said, damn, y'all can't go nowhere without acting a fool. <laughs> and see, this is the type of drama I could deal with because it wasn't too much. But it was just enough for me to have a little kiki. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this episode. And um, I'll see y'all for Married to Medicine in two weeks, okay? Y'all watching the Super Bowl next week? Girl, I'm just watching Usher, okay? They call me U-S-H-E-R-R-A-Y-M. Oh, Wednesday. Baby, tell me what you want to do with me. Get me feeling like Joe to see. Okay, I'm going to give y'all enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Catch me on the Super Bowl. <laughs> the other stage. <laughs> oh, thank God I am not straight. Because, girl, I feel like I'll be like y'all groupy asses. Anyway, shots fired. Shots fired. Somebody got bit. Pop, 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 pop. I'm off of here. Peace.